All right, winter solstice, December 22nd. We have the same effect, but now everything's flipped. So everything up here above the Arctic Circle has 24 hours of darkness. Anything down here below the Antarctic Circle at 66 and a half degrees south gets 24 hours of daylight. Remember, this is at 66 and a half degrees north. And the equator is here. And where is the sun directly overhead? Well, if you're at a latitude of 23 and a half degrees, or at the Tropic of Capricorn, which is at 23 and a half degrees south. And this is the Tropic of Cancer. at 23 and a half degrees north. All right, what does all this mean? Well, if you live between the tropics in this region of the Earth, so your latitude is less than 23 and a half degrees north or less than 23 and a half south, so you're in this region of the Earth, then the sun will get directly overhead at least twice a year. Now, if you live right on the tropics, it only occurs once a year. It occurs exactly on that day. Tropic of Cancer occurs on December 22nd. Tropic of Cancer occurs on June 22nd. So, anybody outside of that, anybody that has a latitude greater than 23 and a half in the Northern Hemisphere, will never have the sun directly overhead. Now, remember, we did it for commerce. The maximum altitude of the sun for commerce was 80.9 degrees. But look, the latitude of commerce is 33 degrees, right? Guess what? 33 minus 23 and a half is equal to 9 and a half degrees. 80.5. How far is that from 90? It's nine and a half degrees. So on June 22nd, over here, the sun's directly overhead at Tropic of Cancer. We're nine and a half degrees further up, so the sun is nine and a half degrees lower from the zenith. So it all comes together, it all makes sense. Now we gotta think about this too, is that this is unique for the Earth. Other planets have different effects, like Mars specifically. Mars has a tilt, not unlike the Earth, it's like 27 degrees, so it's kind of, it's close, it has a tilt. But the biggest difference with Mars is Mars has a more, what we call eccentric orbit, so it gets closer and further from the Sun, and that has a significant effect. Our orbit's close to being circular, so the being closer or further away is very minor effect compared to our tilt. Mars has both those effects going on, so its seasons are much more uh, different or extreme than we would have on the Earth, depending on where you are on Mars. All right, and that is pretty much it for seasons.